92% of Republicans think media intentionally reports fake news. Democrats and non-leaning independents also feel this way, but not nearly to the same extent. Welcome to the Dum Dum News channel. I'm your host, Dum Dum. We got two more subscribers, so the sub counter goes up. If you're new here, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Those sort of things help the channel grow. I had a viewer who commented that most Americans don't think that mainstream media is fake. Well, I found this video from Fox News. Now, I'm not endorsing them, but this video does a really good job of proving the point of media being biased or even having fake news. The increased power of the press is so dangerous today because we are very close to one party control of these institutions. One party control of the press and the media is a threat to a viable democracy. Two of the three most influential papers, at least historically, the New York Times and the Washington Post are virtually Democratic Party broadsheets. Nearly all television, network and cable is a Democratic Party trumpet. Even the government supported national public radio follows along. This next article reads, Gallup poll finds 84% of Americans say media to blame for U.S. political divide. More than half of Americans say their go-to news source has some form of bias. Further in the article, it says, A new poll released on Tuesday shows Americans have a growing distrust of the media, with an overwhelming majority saying the press has a political bias and nearly half saying news outlets display a great deal of bias. I've always told people that media is usually controlled by a private party, a private company, and so they have their agenda, which is to sell advertising and make money. Of course, they're gonna report on the news, but they're each gonna put their spin on it or bias on it. Now, we're gonna go over some video of an example of how the media is biased for or against somebody. Well, President Biden stumbling multiple times as he boarded Air Force One yesterday, and the media taking a little bit different approach to covering compared to the last time a president had some trouble. It was President Trump at West Point going down a ramp. Take a look. He just has a hard time going down a gently sloping ramp, but um, do you see something possibly neurological that could be throwing off his balance? The president himself uh, is having momentary uh, stumbles, uh, momentary lapses, and you know, it looks st straining for a word. When Trump was having trouble walking down some ramp, they were asking if he had some kind of brain problem. But for Joe Biden, they're saying, oh, well, he's 100% fine. Then, this is CNN, June 15, 2020, why, Donald, why the Donald Trump West Point ramp story actually matters. And now you have, from March 19, 2021, White House says Biden is 100% fine after he tripped boarding Air Force One. Biden is jabbing back, pointing to Mr. Trump's slow descent down a ramp at a West Point commencement earlier this year. Look at how he steps and look how I step. Watch how I run up ramps and he stumbles down ramps, okay? Come on. This isn't the first time we've heard Biden say things like this. I remember him saying something about taking him outside and back at the gym and he called someone a line face pony soldier and he challenged a big person to do push-ups. But when it's on the other foot, of course, the left, the woke tarts, they don't want to hear it. Trump mocked by late night host for slow walk down West Point ramp. Uh, guess how many times Colbert and Kimmel and Fallon and Seth Meyers tackled Joe Biden falling three times up a ramp yesterday. Uh, it's the number you get when you multiply something by zero. Zero, because we don't offend anybody. But we all know that if this was Trump that was stumbling down the steps, we would not hear the end of it for about three weeks or four. But since it's the Democratic president, we are not hearing anything about it. Well guys, the numbers are out there, they don't lie. I suggest that you go out and find different sources to find out what's really happening out there. That's the best way to stay informed. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.